What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be finishing off this little stat saga I got. This video is like the last infinity stone I need for my Elden Ring Infinity Gauntlet. After this, I plan to make one video taking all the information I learned from all my other stat videos and making like an ultimate stat guide that a bunch of new players can use because when I first played Bloodborne, that was my first Souls game, I had no idea what the fuck I was looking at in the stat menu. So this will definitely help. Anyways, as you can tell from the title, we're taking a look at Faith, how strong it is, how it scales, all that good stuff. Of course, this is all in the network test, so things could change in the final game. But even if they mess with the stats and make it different in the final game, this video will still be useful to take a look at exactly how they changed. As always, if you're new and you do enjoy this video at any time, please do consider subscribing because about 84% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed and if you enjoy my videos you know why not sub i make lots of elden ring content and you know the game's coming up there's going to be a lot more and for those who've been watching me for a while if you haven't heard i am going to be live streaming my first playthrough on twitch link in the description if you want to join in i plan on summoning some of you guys so come on down have some fun anyways with all that being said let's go see the power of faith what's good vare cue the Oh my fucking god, dude. Sound effect? Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> I can play the role of Maiden. <laughs> well, I gotta go say hello to Ratatouille, so I'll see you later. <laughs> this fucking boar. Alright, so if you haven't seen my other videos where I test stats out, I'm basically gonna put Ratatouille to sleep, and then I'm just gonna, you know, do a charge Beast Claw, and we'll see how much damage it does. And for healing, I, I think it's uh, pretty obvious how I'm gonna test how much I heal. Anyways, we're starting at 16 Faith. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention that I have a plus 3 Claw Mark Seal. Oh yeah, by the way, a little cool fun fact if you uh, don't already know, Beast Claw does not work in water. 254. All right, now let's see how much health I have. I have 82 health. Okay, looks like I'm a. I'm gonna need to level up health a bit to actually see how much that gave me. Okay, so vigor is going to 25, so we can see how much heal actually does. I guess I'll just have the guy who really loves dirt hit me a couple of times. Yo, it's good, man. Yo, I'm not here to take your dirt, bro. We're at 138 health. Now let's heal. 638. Damn, for a regular heal, that's pretty good. Now it's time to go to 30. Because 20 is uh, too little of an increase. 326. Damn, that was close. We're at 101 HP. Shit, wrong one. Now we're at 711. I don't know if that healed more because I have more faith, but it probably says so somewhere on the screen if it did. Wake your ass up. Now we're just gonna go up by increments of 10, so 40's next. 369. God damn. There was a lot of close moments in that one. We are at 117 HP. Okay, I'm definitely thinking it does scale now. We're at 820. 50 faith. 
381. All right, we're at 127 HP. Wow, that was almost a whole bar. We went up to 908. Hey guys, post editing Scum Knight here after looking at all the numbers and all the footage. As you can tell, around 50 faith, Beast Claw starts scaling really slowly, which isn't really normal. It might just be for Beast Claw specifically, because in the footage, as you saw, heal still healed a lot more so the cap for faith or at least the amount you would really want on a faith build is still probably 60 for beast claw it looks like it's 50 though i don't know why but whatever anyways just thought i'd let you know how are you gonna miss man i'm standing still shit was embarrassing so now we're going to 60 faith and i'm also gonna level up vigor to 35 because I'm pretty sure if I don't go higher than 25, we won't be able to tell exactly how much I heal because it's just going to do the entire bar. 392. We're at 90 HP. Wow, that's a lot. And now we're at 935. That is really good for a regular heal, god damn. Since heal scales that much, I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be other heal spells like greater heal or super epic great heal like there was in Dark Souls 3. Oh shit, he's waking up. So now I'm gonna go to 70 and after 70 I'm just gonna go straight to 99. We're testing 70 just to confirm that it does start to get slower after 60 because that's pretty much the cap. Well the cap for the other attributes we're trying to see if it's the same for faith. 396. Oh shit. I'm about to die. God damn. My character's throwing. Well, time to say hello to Dirt Guy. Always liked you better, Dirt Guy. Oh, look at him. He's so nice. We're at 69. Oh my god. Now we're at 924. It definitely slowed down. So it looks like 60 is still the highest you'll want to go for any of these stats. Now I'm just going to go ahead and test 99 for the shits and giggles. Four hundred and twenty-six. Dude got me again, bro. I cannot believe this shit. Friendship officially ended with Ratatouille. Dirt guy is now my friend. He loves me. Alright, we got 178 HP. Now we have 1,061. I guess I'll go ahead and fuck up a few bosses now. I mean, it's practically tradition. Listen, Vare, when I hit you earlier, I didn't really mean it. It was by accident. I hope we can put that behind us. But I'm afraid you are maidenless. Very well. if you mistake you Damn. Maidenless one charge and one light. light. That's all it took to bring Vare down? I am. Fucking pathetic. So now that Vare got what he deserved, I went ahead and nerfed myself back to 60 faith and I just made a little pseudo faith build here. I just put some points into vigor, mind, endurance, and dex, obviously, for the casting speed. Try to sneak up on this man. Oh shit. I'm not fucking a horse guy. He's getting outplayed. Swear to God. 
It ain't no fucking. Nah, 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 nah. You know what? Horse guy, you can win, bro. I give you this one. That shit was fucked up. What's this? Yep, not worth it. Yo, it's good, man. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty tough. Nah, this man done stuck the grace up his ass, bro. What the fuck? Surprised that shit's still glowing. Oh, it's good, man. Oh, he gets staggered. That's funny. Dude, just spamming R1. Yeah, rip bozo. That's what you get for spamming R1 all day. You know, a tip I should have added on my last video is that you should never feel bad when killing an R1 spammer. In fact, make sure you point down on them. So normally, I wouldn't try to use Beast Claw on uh, the dragon because, as you can see, this entire area is in water and Beast Claw doesn't work in water. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to bring the dragon up here and then start beating the shit out of him. I know, right? I'm a fucking genius. So close, bro. You gotta be shitting me. Yo, know maybe this will work. Oh, wow. It actually does. That's surprising. Yes. You fell into my trap. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good. Damn, this man just ran away. Shit. Damn, how far away can you bring this man? Oh. Well, I guess that answers my question. Damn, he scared these poor little guys. Yo, it's okay, he's gone. He's gone. Or maybe they're afraid of the rain. Who knows? Yeah, I feel bad. I'll just put them out of their misery already. There you go. You won't have to be scared anymore. They're in a better place now. I'll be taking that. As you could tell, Faith in Elden Ring, at least in the network test, is about as strong as intelligence, I would personally say. Of course, that's just my opinion. But anyways, if you made it this far, Thank you for watching, you're awesome. If you enjoyed, please drop a like. If you're new, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.